we are all accustomed to using others' works, words, images, sounds, to support our own. That's what research is. And chances are, you know when to cite those works to clarify what is and isn't original to you. If not, check out ZSR's plagiarism tutorial for a refresher. But do you know when you need to do more? Copyright can be murky because copyright attaches to almost everything it can as soon as it can. In official words, whenever a work is original, creative, and fixed in a tangible medium of expression, there's a lot of copyrighted content out there. And some of that content gets used and reused in ways that, depending on the circumstance, are technically infringing. Quick example of the murkiness. Linking to someone else's photo online? Always okay. Using that photo in a class presentation? Probably okay under fair use. Using that photo in a publication? It depends. Better ask more questions. And just because you had permission to use a work in your research, for example, the Beck Depression Index, you don't, by extension, have permission to reproduce it in your thesis. Because your thesis or dissertation is a work whose audience goes beyond the classroom and whose access is generally open to all, the fair use analysis for determining when you do and do not need permission for using others' copyrighted content in your work is different than it would be for a class assignment. If all you're doing is citing someone else's words or ideas, then follow the principles of your chosen citation style and you're good to go. But if you are using images or a poem or an article, even one you authored, you might need permission. Certainly, you need to ask more questions. The first question to ask is, is my proposed use fair? Fair use is analyzed along four factors. The purpose of the use, the nature of the original work, the amount being used, and the impact on the market for the original work. Increasingly, transformativeness is important in fair use analysis. In other words, is the use substantially different from the intended original use, or are you using the work in a novel way? Another way to analyze fair use is to ask the following three questions. Are you using the material to illustrate a specific point? Is the amount used sufficient to illustrate your point? And is it clear to the audience what point you're making? If you can answer yes to all three questions, the use leans toward being fair. If you can't answer yes to all three questions or you are still unsure, you might want to seek permission to use the material in your work. The copyright holder is the person or entity to give such permission. If you want to use material from a journal article, it's likely that the publisher holds the copyright, so the journal website is the place to start. Look for a section of the site titled Permissions or Reproductions to get started. If the material is from a book, book chapter, website, presentation, or other source, the author is the place to start. Be aware that there may be a fee involved to reuse the material. If there is, hopefully it won't be too costly, but be prepared with alternate plans just in case. If you need help understanding fair use or seeking permissions, let me know. That's why I'm here.